people have often wondered if they are the only species in the vast cosmos. We have explored the possibility of life beyond our little blue planet. We have looked to the sky and thought of distant galaxies. At last, that possibility has materialized. The head of NASA recently announced that something extraordinary has been captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe. Brace yourself for an incredible secret that has been revealed in the far reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. The discovery of life on the planet Proxima b challenge everything. Join us as we explore the mysteries revealed by the James Webb Telescope and speculate on the possible implications of the finding of life of Proxima b for humanity and space exploration in general. The James Webb Space Telescope, a scientific marvel, has the potential to completely change our understanding of the cosmos. Thanks to its advanced technology and spatial location in space, scientists can now study distant galaxies, planets, and stars in a way that has never been possible before, giving them an unprecedented perspective of the universe. While all of this may sound like hype, the technology backs up all these claims. The James Webb's 6.5 meter diameter primary mirror is one of its most amazing features, being more than twice the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, one of the most significant space exploration instruments of the past 30 years. The James Webb's huge mirrors allows it to capture even the smallest flashes of light from the farthest reaches of the universe, regions that science has not always been able to observe. Historically, scientists have had theorized about what they could see with the conventional telescope. With the James Webb Space Telescope, however, they can finally see the real details they had only dreamed of. In addition to the larger mirror, the James Webb has a collection of state-of-the-art instruments capable of detecting a wide spectrum of wavelengths of light. Near-infrared telescopes, commonly known as NIRCAM, are powerful instruments designed to capture images in the near-infrared of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is important because it allows us to probe deeper into the cosmos, as infrared light can pass through clouds of dust that block visible light. Thanks to NIRCAM's high resolution, astronomers can closely observe the birth of stars and galaxies. The main objective of all of this is specific equipment are to investigate the early cosmos, its first light, the origin and evolution of galaxies, as well as to find and describe the exoplanets that were previously unreachable by other telescopes. The complexities and structures of the universe are revealed in the detailed images captured by NIRCAM, allowing a greater understanding of the assembly and evolution of galaxies over time and the intricate processes they shape our cosmic neighborhood and beyond. In addition, the near-infrared spectrograph, known as NIRCSPEC, offers another option by breaking down the light emitted by astronomical objects into their colors or wavelengths. This process, called spectroscopy, provides crucial details about the temperature, velocity, and chemical composition of these objects. NIRCSPEC provides scientific detailed information about everything it observes thanks to its ability to study the spectral signatures of stars and galaxies. By analyzing absorption and emission lines, scientists can identify components of a star or galaxy and learn more about the materials that make up the universe, helping to understand the complex interactions between stars and galaxies, as well as the cycle life of the celestial bodies. Near respect is essential for studying distant galaxies, that emit light that has troubled billions of years to us, providing insight into the early universe. By analyzing a galaxy's spectrum, astronomers can determine its age, chemical composition, and other properties, unraveling the galaxy's evolutionary history. The James Webb's MIRAI, or Mid-Infrared Instrument, is a premier instrument for investigating the mid-infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. It allows us to study objects that emit infrared light at longer wavelengths, facilitating the investigation of a variety of phenomena, from star formation to the discovery of atmospheres and the exploration of dusty environments. The regions where stars are born are one of my favorite places in the cosmos. These dense dust clouds allowed infrared radiation to pass through, 
allowing Mirai to pierce the cosmic veil and observe the formation of stars and planetary systems. Astronomers uh, can learn a great deal about the physical processes occurring inside these celestial incubators from the detailed infrared photos and spectra it captures. In addition, Mirai is crucial for identifying and studying exoplanets as it can detect and analyze the faint thermal emission from their atmospheres and their mid-infrared, providing information about their composition, temperature, motion, and the potential habitability of these exoplanets. It can identify the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other essential elements that could support life as we know it. How does the James Webb Telescope look for biological indicators? Spectroscopy and analysis using its four main instruments are two of the main key methods. Even if a planet did not have plants or oxygen from the beginning, these indicators of life are fundamental to science. Spectroscopy, which examines the light emitted and absorbed by an object to determine its composition, plays a central role in revealing the mysteries hidden in the atmospheres of exoplanets. When the James Webb finds an exoplanet, it expects to observe a transit, an event in which the exoplanet passes in front of its parent star. During this transit, the James Webb closely observes the starlight that's passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere, while Mirai focuses on the mid-infrared spectrum near spec, focuses on the near-infrared. Together, they form an unbeatable team that covers a wide range of wavelengths that needed for comprehensive investigation. Stellar observation during a transit is crucial because starlight passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, interacts with different chemicals, leaving telltale signals. The James Webb analyzes these signals to identify the compounds present in the exoplanet's atmosphere, as each molecule has unique spectral characteristics. After identifying these features, the James Webb performs extensive modeling and calibration using computer simulations and reference spectra. Compound identification is only one of the first steps in the search for life. Researchers are looking for biomarkers or compounds that could be relatable to life as we know it, such as oxygen, methane, and water vapor. More observations and information are needed to assess habitability and any relevant biological activity. Comparative indicator spectroscopy is another tool that the James Webb is using to enhance its search for life, establishing meaningful comparisons to advance this exciting exploration. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.